our mentality should never be Jesus Christ died on the cross for my sins. So I'm, I'm just going to do whatever I want. And I'll just ask God for forgiveness before I go to sleep tonight. No, that is not how you should be thinking. How it should go, what should go on in your mind is that Jesus Christ died on the cross for my sins. So I'm going to submit to him and I'm going to crucify my flesh daily. I'm going to crucify my old self that wants to come back up and say peekaboo. I'm going to put that thing to death, tomb, funeral. It has to go. Like, that's how we should be thinking. And a lot of people think sin is freedom. They won't like say that word for word, but they think doing whatever they want is freedom, y'all. But it is not freedom. You're a slave to the thing that you continuously chase after. Like those those sinful things that you continuously chase after aren't going to satisfy you. You're still going to have that void. You're still going to have that emptiness. You get that hit, that immediate gratification, that pleasure, and then it settles and you're like, oh, I need more. I need more. It's like an endless cycle. It's a cycle, y'all. And we have to realize that we are not going to find satisfaction in our sin. We can only find satisfaction in Jesus. And I pray that this Holy Week, as we think about the sacrifice that Jesus made for us, we'll remember that through the Holy Spirit, we can be empowered. We can put to death our flesh. We can put to death our old self that wants to come back up and ruin us and dominate us. We are empowered by Christ. We are empowered by his resurrection. We are empowered by him. He lived the sinless life. He not only died for us, but he lived. He lived for us. And we should meditate on those things that he has done for us. If you haven't, read the Gospels. Read Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John. Read that and meditate on what Jesus Christ did for you.